Hello all. Okay, the uh, cat in the background is my cat. Uh, it's not stray. And the chili plant in the foreground is my oldest chili plant, which is my uh, jalapeno. It's just survived its second winter. And as you can see, it's more of a tree now than a chili plant. Right, today is April the 18th, 2014. And uh, today I have planted all my chili plants on, and I shall show you. Uh, jalapeno is by far the biggest plant because it's the oldest, not surprisingly. And that's gone in the biggest pot, as you can see there. But I've also pretty much planted everything on. That is a seven pot burgundy, and I'll show you all the others. As you can see, we have 30 jelly plants planted against the wall in various size pots and a couple of here too. This one, that's a bird's eye. This one, that's a naga. This one, that's a Brazilian starfish. And this one, that's a plain jalapeno. This one, without the label, is an onza. This one here, it's a dorset naga. This one here, that's a chocolate naga. This one here, let's have a quick look. That is a Brazilian starfish. This one is a jalapeno orange. The one in the uh, pot at the back, that is a large cherry. Now, it's an interesting one because if you have quite a lot, you can see, even though it's only April, the first chilies are actually starting to show on it. Unbelievably. Okay, this one here, this is the Butch T Scorpion. This one, this is the one you originally saw, this is the Kiss of Satan. This one, Yellow Seven Pot, Dorset Naga again. This one is a Caribbean. This one's the Fish. That one at the back's the Poblano. This one here, Red Boot Jaloka. That one at the back is the Scotch Bonnet. This one here, right. Unknown. I don't know what chili plant this actually is. I bought it from Tesco's ages ago and I thought it was dead and then just miraculously it sprung back into life and has been quite the most productive chili plant I've ever had. I must have got 200 little bullet sized chilies off this last year. I'll show you one there about that size. Not the biggest but very very productive. That one at the back there, that's a chocolate naga. This one here. This one is a paper lantern, habanero. This one at the back here is a Peter Penis. This one here, Trinidad Maruga Scorpion with the thermometer sticking out of it. This one, Golden Cayenne. Now look at this one as well, planted in January. And you can see, look, the first chili's coming through and it's only April. This one here. This is the Fatali, still in the slow lane, not going anywhere fast. This one here is the Chili de Onza. And last but not least, in this massive pot, is a Piri Piri that I planted June last year. It survived the winter. Already we've got some flowers on it. It's absolutely massive already. Okay. I shall show you how we planted it. It's not very really interesting me to wash and plant, but here's what I did. That's an old paddling pool. Yeah, it's not fit for paddling in. But all I did was hydrated 10 kilogram, a 10 kilogram bale of quar, and I did some of this stuff. About a bag and a half of this Jack's Magic. Mixed it all in there, and that's basically your grow medium. It's about 80 liters of compost and about 80 liters of quar bale. And as you can see, I've got loads left over, and pretty much every chili plant you see, in fact, every plant you've just seen, was done using that mixture. Okay. And here we see all the plants indoors. They don't spend all night out because it's too cold still. Uh, any frost will likely kill them, so every night bring them all in. As you can see, pretty much take over my conservatory.